Where's Bone? Where's Bone? Go get your Bone. So what's up guys? We got a short, quick little product review for you here. Uh, not something I would normally have because I normally wouldn't pay money for something like this. But I realize some people maybe haven't been riding for the last 21 years of their life or maybe they have been riding since they were a kid but they're not, I don't know, maybe not that mechanically inclined or maybe their parents weren't mechanically inclined. So for whatever reason, if chain adjustments trouble you, this may be for you, uh, regardless why. Chain, chain adjustments shouldn't trouble anyone. But this is a uh, chain monkey. Uh, again, this is something I would never normally buy, and uh, I didn't buy this. This actually, uh, I won in a raffle for riding in a uh, St. Jude charity ride like six months ago. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll kind of test it, play with it a little bit. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and get the negative out of the way. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. I may insert a picture. But I've only used this thing a couple of times and it is currently, you know, it has this black plastic piece that goes over <clears throat> this nut. And I don't actually, now that I think about it, that may be just like a protective cap or something. I don't know, because um, there's no reason it should even really be on there. So anyway, maybe that's just a protective cap. Either way, <clears throat> if you leave that on there, um, it'll kind of get chewed up from the chain a little bit. So maybe keep that in mind. I'm probably gonna start using it without that now that I think about it. So anyway, it's very simple. It's got a chart on the back of it. It's kind of printed up the top here and it's just a, a graph. The measurements on it are relevant. What the spacing on them is probably eighth of an inch. We're gonna go with the eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's eighth inch. So <clears throat> anyway, you uh, get your chain set at whatever your manufacturer's recommendation is. And whenever you set that chain, you know, and you wanna be, let's say it's one inch to 1.3 inches of free play. So set it at one inch of free play, as tight as you comfortably ever set it. And then put this on it. When you put this on it, you start tightening it down. You hang it on your chain, and as you start tightening it down, your chain's gonna bend. As it bends, the top side of the chain is going to get tighter. And then whenever you get the top side completely tight, you take this little rubber washer and thread it up until it bottoms out against the plastic piece. And then, every time you go to adjust your chain, you just take this out, Put it on your chain, you tighten it up to your black washer hits, and then you loosen your axle bolt and adjust it until the top of your chain is tight. Tighten your axle bolt, and then when you take this off, you'll have that same amount of slack in it every single time. So it is pretty handy. Uh, I've mainly been using it to monitor chain wear because. I feel like sometimes I'm over maintaining my chain as far as adjusting the free play because I'll loosen my, my axle bolt and then I'll turn my adjusters one sixth of a turn. So you know, you've got a six sided nut on there, I'll turn it one flat and then fill of it and I'll be like, oh, that's perfect. It's as tight as I would ever want it to be without being the slightest bit loose. Like it's right up against the bottom of the spec. And then I'm just like, that's probably a waste of time to like do that every ride. So I've actually been just using it to monitor um, how much chain wear I've been getting. But it works, it's handy. If for some reason you uh, do not like adjusting your chain and you think it's like a huge nightmare hassle, maybe something like this is for you. Again, it's called the Chain Monkey. On the top it says True Tension precision every time. So anyway, nothing special. 
but I've had it, I've kind of been using it, so figured I'd give you a video on it. Catch y'all next time.